Hey, welcome to my house slash business. <laughs> there we go, this is where all the magic happens. The best way to do it is basically use like an old shit shirt, Windex spilled all over the shirt. We're gonna try and revitalize it. This, all this grass is from tie-dyeing. <laughs> My dogs love it, they're like cows. <laughs> With stuff like this, you wanna have the shirt like a little bit damp. Um, Not super wet though. I'm just gonna soak it in bleach and we're gonna hope that it just looks cool. There isn't any more residual left in the bucket. Um, it's pretty much soaked into the shirt at this point, so. Eric has actually helped me with a lot of jobs, so if you're wearing a King Gizzard, just yes. go ahead and burn it now. Burn it now! <laughs> burn it now! I don't know why it's called Dirt Guard, you know? Oh, I'm gonna finish this up and then we'll check out and see how this shirt looks in 15 minutes. Mixing your dye is honestly insanely important. Mix a roux. Add the dye to a bottle. I want this to really pop, so I'm gonna use four tablespoons of soda ash for a 32 ounce bottle and just shake the shit out of it. We're gonna go ahead and do kind of like an accordion fold, but we're just gonna throw it up the side here on the shirt so it just looks sick. It's always nice to have something where the dye can just drain out. That's nice. Nice. That's nice. All right. Cool. Well, bam. Color a little bit there. Color a little bit there. Let it sit as long as you can. Ultimately, 24 hours is the way to go. And we're done. And we're sweating. I mean, this is some of my favorite favorite things to do. And then, uh, everything's kind of done, and I got these tubs of colors right here. I really like just like pouring them out and just staring at them for a while. <laughs> I know that sounds really fucking weird, but it's just something I like to do. I don't know, I'm a color guy. Hey guys, it's me again. It's like 24 hours later, shirt's washed, ready to rock.